Hey everyone. So episode 31, we've made it past 30 episodes. Oh my gosh. I am pretty stoked about this. Many podcasts don't make it past their first few episodes. So yeah, I'm so, so pleased. And if you've been listening to my podcast regularly, thank you. <laughs> it's good to know that I've got fans. So in this episode, I am going to talk about how to not run out of new business uh, because there's, I have seen some business owners show concern that they've got, you know, good momentum going for a while and then they're busy and then because they're busy, they stop marketing and then the business runs out and so they have to like quickly scramble and get stuff out there. And I would propose a remedy to that, which is having a campaign that's always going because I've seen it happen. I'm um, like I described, business owners will just stop all their marketing uh, because things are going well, or maybe they stop marketing because things are not going well. And the whole point of getting people to know, like, and trust you, which is a part of, you know, getting people to buy into what you're selling for some of your audience members, that can take time. And in the meantime of all that, you also sort of have to replenish your audience, replenish your ecosystem with new people because some of those people in your ecosystem um, might be evolving and, and changing what their needs are. Uh, maybe they decide to unfollow you. So that's why you need to keep replenishing your audience. So we do this with always on campaigns. Now in ads management, this is a part of a thing that people who manage paid ads do. So they will create campaigns that are designed solely for replenishing your audience and reaching out to new people uh, because the existing one can, can fizzle out, can run out. Um, and the objectives of always on campaigns are simply that, to reach new people. You're not likely to see um, dollars come in directly from an awareness campaign, but what you do get is more people in your ecosystem and more relevant people who are more likely to be the ones who warm up to you and buy into your offers. So that's the value of that. And this doesn't have to be something that you do with paid ads. You can and should always be inviting new audience members into your ecosystem by offering lead magnets, by doing social media posts, by going to networking events. And let me tell you that if you want to grow your audience fast and make connections fast, being able to speak to people face-to-face -face at, at events is probably one of the fastest ways to do it. Having said that, I know that a lot of my listeners are probably um, neurodivergent or chronically ill or introverted, otherwise don't really like enjoy going out to networking events, and that's okay. There are online ones you can participate in. So I hope now you consider maybe possibly having some kind of ongoing strategy going on. Like I said, it's great to have like a, a loyal audience of followers who have like been with you from day one. But if you don't keep replenishing that audience, um, it is going to dry up. Unfortunately, that's just how things go. Uh, so if you need help with this sort of thing, uh, so I actually manage uh, ads for clients. So I'm happy to answer questions. If you want to know anything about this, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to me via my website, bluecause.com. Thank you for tuning in.